Hey, Crown. It's Ian and Emily here, and we just wanted to share a few words with you before the end of the semester. To students returning to Crown for another or quite a few more semesters, congrats on finishing another one. These days have added up to another measurable semester. My goodness, we've definitely learned more this semester than probably any before or likely any after. We've learned our fields as well as any other semester, navigating the complications of change and the hardest search for motivation that I think I've yet to find in anything. We have learned also what it is to experience real change and fast, to adjust and adapt when we don't want to, but because we need to, to see the value in the nearness of our friendships and not take a single blessing of our educational experience or any current reality for granted. We have learned to hunger and thirst for God because all else doesn't quench that and it is all subject to change. All that and more says that this semester has been a good one, a hard one, but a good one. And I hope that we can say that for our lives as well. That Man, we duked it out with some nasty stuff and it was actually really hard, but that we learned and cherished each other, stood with each other and persevered, that we hungered and thirsted for God and he filled us. Moving forward, may God bless you and your returning to crown um, and then summer in the continuation of your journey. Hold tight to one another, call each other on towards these things, and keep learning. And now to our loved faculty and staff. Thank you. Those words are truly meant. We don't know half of the ways that you have persevered for us and with us during this semester. You are often the hands and feet of Christ to us in your genuine care, patience, and perseverance to work with us, support us, and teach us well. Thank you for all that you sacrificed for the students and for each other, and that you did so with joy. It's also extremely commendable that in all the things that have going on and how they've impacted you and your families, that you've all been united in your care and your support for all the students and have done a job well done. You've done more than what your job titles describe, but you've also been our mentors and our friends. Thank you and blessings to you this summer and in the seasons that follow. Into the class of 2020, I know it didn't look exactly like we thought it would, but we did it. We made it through senior year. We successfully navigated a multitude of papers, exams, discussions, debates, assignments, and the last finals week ever. Even though the world looks a little different now than it did in January, we are still graduating from college and nothing can take away from that accomplishment. In all, we have spent four years together, eight semesters together, who knows how many hours together with May 2020 in mind. We have struggled together, experienced success with each other, laughed together, cried together, and helped each other get to the finish line. Nothing, and I mean nothing, could ever take away from all the hard work we have done to get to this point, and that includes COVID-19. So be proud, class of 2020. The goal we have accomplished is great, and all that hard work has finally paid off. In 20 years, when we look back on our time at Crown, it won't be COVID-19 that we remember most. It will be our friends, our professors, and all the people who poured into us and led us to discovering who we are in Jesus Christ. So, class of 2020, here's to you. Here's to where he is leading each and every one of you after we all go our separate ways. Here's to the faithfulness of God in leading us to crown and leading us to where he wants us next. I pray that the Lord bless you and keep you in his presence all the days of your life, and that you never depart from it. This world is still in dire need of love of Christ. So go be that love. As our college careers come to a close, and we each start the next new thing. I pray over us the same blessing that Paul sends his brothers and sisters in 1 Thessalonians 2, 16 to 17, which says this, Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and gave us eternal comfort and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts and establish them in every good work and word. We pray over you, Crown. And we do have a song for you as well, if you want to stick around and listen. But go be love.